Welcome back to Golfing East. Today I'm going to be playing the front nine of Otter Creek, an 18-hole course in Otterville, Ontario. It's a par 72 course and it's honestly one of my favorites in the area. You're going to be using every shot in your bag, I promise. I'm out here with my buddy Dars, heading off to the first hole, so let's get playing. First hole already kind of tricky right off the bat. You gotta keep it center left. And what do I do? Put it a bit more left than you should. But hey, we're not even really supposed to be out here. This was shot in November, and in Canada, it's the law that if it's not snowing, you're golfing. Some pretty good yips right off the bat. I really didn't want to go into that bunker and managed to just put it on the back of the green. second hole now we're getting more serious it's a 413 yard par 4 and it's all carry off the tee so after carrying literally two acres of waste bunker I've left myself a pretty long seven iron out of this long brush For my third shot, I'm about 80 yards out with my pitching wedge, and I end up putting it pretty far right, leaving myself with about a 60 footer. I'll take that for bogey, and honestly that's something you can be proud of on this hole. Hole number three, a pretty awesome par five. You've got thick rough on the left and country road on the right, so your best bet is just to grip it. Rip it. So I ended up making a great drive with a good position. So I thought the best second shot would be to just scream one left. So I've now left myself about 110 yards with a gap wedge to the hole. Darcy and I actually both thought this went off the back of the green, but as soon as I walked up there, I actually wasn't in bad position for a birdie putt. Don't put on your glasses, that's my lens messing around, and it has been replaced since. Shout out to Dars for helping film on this day, and also for putting it on the front of this par 4 green. That's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, when you hit it 50 yards left pin high, you might be in a bit of trouble. So I'm going to try and show you how to get out of this. This next part three, I absolutely love. It's unique, it's challenging. You can't be short, you can't be long. You really can't be left or right. So just throw shots at it and have fun. Hey. 
Oh. 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 As you saw, I went off the back, and all I could really do was just hit down on this ball and hope for the best. After that bogey, the sun started coming out and warming up, and I just needed a morale boost. I think that shirt only came in like triple XL. I feel like kind of fits now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Number six, a pretty hard hole to get a good score on. And yeah, I know a lot of shots are going left on this day. I'm currently in grip rehab trying to straighten this stuff out. There's a lot of bad technique that was popular in the 90s that still shows up in my swing, so just ugh, bear with me. This is actually a hard green to land on. I gave it the 100 yard 8 iron bump and run, but I just gave it a bit too much and it rolled off the back. Oh. It's pretty double black diamond behind that green, so I'm happy with this chip out. Number seven, the only option really is just to go straight for the hole. Left, right, and short are all trouble. Number eight, pretty unique hole that you have to play pretty safely. You gotta land it right, pretty much in the middle of the ferry. God damn it, left. However, there is an opening over there and I managed to find it with a good look for about a 120 yard gap wedge. Number nine, let's talk about this hole. I could talk about this hole all day. First off, it's a blind uphill shot that has to be under 200 yards from the whites. You leave it short because there's about an 80 yard gorge that you have to hit over on your second shot, which I'm short of. Luckily, I did make it onto the green from that distance, and unluckily, my camera battery died after the shot when I two-putted for bogey. But all in all, Otter Creek is an awesome course. Come check it out if you're in the area. I can't wait to film the back nine later on this year. Again, thank you to everyone watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the page. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. <laughs>